Hey guys, uh, it's May, Grid Gaskin Awareness Month. Uh, welcome back, this is Mike Murphy with Travis here from Custom CNC Arts. Uh, we figured we'd come by here today, check out Travis. He does a lot of work here for the local artist community, doing a lot of custom tables, some lamps, uh, stuff for the Burning Man Festival. Uh, so by here today for Grid Gasket Awareness Month, we're gonna drop off some Grid Gasket for his Shop Saver machine and see if we can improve some of the vacuum on his spoil board. Sounds good, Mike. All right. All right, guys, so now we've got the table exposed here on the Shop Saber grid. Uh, always talk about the importance of that grid gasket, the proper grid gasket. We often talk about square gasket and square channels. Uh, when a channel is flared open like this, we often recommend the round core that we'll see here in a minute. When customers either glue or caulk their spoil boards down, it leads to unevenness and, and varied surfaces. That's why it's so critical to get that proper grid gasket in there to get that fresh, clean seal all the way around. And we'll see here in a moment what the difference is between the holding power with gasket and without and see what kind of improvement it can make on your machine. So to do some of this testing here, we brought our push-pull gauge meter here and we can tell what kind of pressure it takes to push a part out of place. Uh, the, the problems that guys have on their spoil boards, don't want parts movement. So without the vacuum, we've got our push-pull gauge meter here and without any, you know, th there's, there's no pressure here, but we'll send over to Travis to turn on the vacuum. We're gonna leave all four zones open and, and see if we can't get some incremental improvement on vacuum performance. So if you turn that on, you, yep. So now we've got all four zones open uh, vacuum wise. And when we turn this push-pull gauge meter on, 5.1 pounds of pressure. 5.1 pounds of pressure to move that part out of place. Now if Travis, he's gonna turn it down to the one zone now. And when we get down to one zone, that's usually what guys will do to improve their vacuum efficiency. And when we're down to the one zone here, get that down to zero. Twenty-eight pounds of pressure. So pretty big difference going from four zones down to one. Great idea to get that vacuum improvement. And now let's see what we can do when we get that gasket into that table, really get that airtight mentality. So now that we got the spoil board off, we're gonna start putting this grid gasket into the machine. Uh, as we always say, square gasket into square holes, uh, into square channels. Uh, but when you have a unique channel like this, uh, round cord, we often supply a double-sided tape to keep that round cord in there. Otherwise, it's going to twist around and, and come out of that channel. We really want to have it stay in place. Uh, and when we put this gasket material into this channel, uh, we're going to go all the way around the perimeter, as we've done for the other three zones out there. Uh, get this to really seal that, that table. Okay, now that we got the gasket into the table itself, we're going to see what kind of vacuum performance improvement we get because we're eliminating that leak under that spoil board. So we got the four zones on. We're going to take the same part. 11.2 pounds of pressure. So we've more than doubled the holding power when we got the four zones on. And now that we're down to the one zone to increase vacuum efficiency on the one area, take a look at this. 37 pounds so about 50% improvement by gasketing that one zone leak prevention 